Hello, Mr. Morris, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good. I hope you have an amazing day today. <laughs> welcome back to the kitchen. It's been so long. Well, it was last year when I last was here. <laughs> Oh my god. New Year, same me, because we're still in the kitchen and we're still, once again, gonna try celebrity recipes. Famous people just sometimes make really scrumptious stuff. When I think of like Robert Pattinson's ideas, mm, I just feel my mouth watering. But then also, and this time for real, when I think of like Rihanna's mac and cheese, wow. I think of Taylor Swift's cookies, Billie Eilish's cookies. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do some great stuff. And I hope today is one of those days. We're gonna try three more, two of which are relatively simple. And I feel like they could just be introduced into your like daily routine really nicely. That's why I wanted to try them. Having prepared everything I need for this one recipe, I realized, oh, this is basically what I cook on the daily. I don't know why I never realized this beforehand. I'm always like, this kind of sounds tasty. And then I make it or I prepare everything I need for it. And I'm like, oh. No wonder this sounds tasty. I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> this is so emotional. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's 2023. <sighs> I'm just a little bit sick. <laughs> and whenever I have a bit of a cold, my eyes start tearing up randomly. And yeah, this is just kind of counterproductive right now. Sometimes you just gotta be dramatic. While browsing YouTube, I came across a video in which Chris and Kylie Jenner. Chris Jenner? Yeah. Cooked! It is a video by a Vogue. <gasps> and they also made pasta primavera, which I thought was Kylie's recipe, but now it says it's Chris's recipe, so I guess we're making Chris Jenner's pasta primavera. You know, sometimes you just gotta follow Americans to make an Italian recipe, and here's what you'll need to prepare it as well. <gasps> You need carrots, zucchini, cut in the candle way. This is genetic. Bell pepper, I've got red and a little bit of green bell pepper and some broccoli. Chris likes farfalle, olive oil. And then I think the only thing they really seasoned it with was like garlic salt. Then we are gonna do chopped garlic, chopped garlic. <gasps> they chopped garlic. Okay, I feel like they're also adding other spices throughout, so I think I might just improvise. Cover your pan or skillet in olive oil. Garlic time. Then add your carrots. And wait for them to become... Al dente. When your garlic is burned because you were too busy waiting for your carrots to be... Al dente. You can add the broccoli and the zucchini. Chris Jenner came up with this amazing Chris Jenner layering technique. <laughs> you always layer a bit of more olive oil on top with some seasoning. So I'll season it with salt, pepper, chili powder, some Italian herbs, onion powder. Now you can add the bell pepper and don't forget the Chris Jenner layering technique. Here we go, everyone. Make sure to also add just the olive oil so you have a bit of a sauce, you know. It's done, that was so easy. Well, at least we can now judge whether this dish tastes better when I make it or when the Jenners make it. <laughs> Not really dinner time yet, so I'm not gonna eat too much, but I'm glad that I made enough for like the next day. <laughs> looks very like fresh. It does look very springy. <laughs> very juicy too, even though we only added the olive oil. And there you have it. Oh, you don't have it yet. Don't forget to add some fresh basil. Added. Mm, this is gonna be so good. In a shocking turn of events, there is no shock. <laughs> yeah, very good. This recipe is very simple, very easy, but effective. I mean, obviously, you will have to like vegetables for this one. I forgot that they also added Parmesan in the end. 
I did not buy Parmesan. It's a nice little start to this video because now we're gonna get a little bit more complicated. But let me prepare everything and eat this up as well. And then I'll be right back. Everybody! Yeah. No. We're not gonna make something from the backstreet boys. In fact, no boys allowed here. <laughs> At least not today. Because it was about damn time that we made something from her. We're gonna make a Lizzo original recipe. I think she... I think she posts a lot of, or at least during lockdown, I believe. But I think she did upload a lot of TikToks, you know, sharing her recipes. And we're gonna try one of those. Okay, so I'm very excited about making this recipe. I kind of fantasized it. I don't know if it exists already. It's just very not me. You know, Kylie and Chris was very much me. This is something that I don't do. We're gonna make Russell's nachos, she calls them. I think nachos is like her inspiration, but she makes them using Brussels sprouts. It's also vegan, until she added cream cheese. But I did buy vegan cream cheese, so... Are you ready? Because it's a bad time. Bad time. Okay, this is the last time I say this. <laughs> Here's what you need. Obviously, you need Brussels sprouts. This is for our vegan meat alternative, which I've never done it like this. We've got walnuts, green bell pepper, white onion, and then we're gonna add seasoning. We've got some tomatoes, and then she also adds some random greens, like herbs. And this is for our last thing that we basically have to make. She uses this vegan queso, which I... I don't know what that is. <laughs> she said she usually makes it herself, so I looked for a recipe. For that, we need 80 grams of cashews, 4 grams of nutritional yeast, a small clove of garlic, 10 grams of any hot sauce, and then let's talk about spices. <laughs> garlic, ginger, Cajun seasoning, cumin, chili powder, and my enemy, liquid smoke. <laughs> bah! Bah. Liquid smoke does not smell good. I don't like this liquid smoke. We're gonna use it again, even though we all hate it. And by all, I mean me. Got some vegan cream cheese. I think this is cashew based. Some oat milk, salt, and olive oil. Very chaotic recipe, but we're also working with a very chaotic TikTok. First thing she does is to blend all the ingredients for the vegan meat. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to gradually add more stuff. <laughs> Onion. Okay, she just has a bunch of seasoning, so I'm gonna add a bit of chili, I guess? I don't know. Garlic, a bit of ginger, because why not? I don't know. Then I'm gonna add a bit of this Cajun seasoning mix. And she said, add that cumin, so we'll do, Lizzo. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> hmm, kinda working. <gasps> Almost accidentally forgot. Liquid smoke. Just like a couple of drops. One, four. That's enough. This does not want to become minced meat. Not my fault. I don't know about my minced meat, but um, we can improve on that the next time we make this, which is probably never. <laughs> that tastes so good. We gotta blend some more. I feel like vegan cooking is just blending all the time. Cause I wanna prepare the queso now. And for that, I forgot that we also need 120 to 160 milliliters of hot water. So basically we just add all the ingredients to our blender situation. The cashews, garlic, nutritional yeast, hot water, the hot sauce, not gonna add too much, cumin, chili powder, Salt and blend. Doesn't smell very cheesy, it smells very yeasty. It also looks yeasted. <laughs> I get what they mean with the cheesiness. I'm not feeling it yet. Our queso is as good as it's gonna get, I think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, actually, kind of yum. We're still blending stuff, so we might as well blend some more. Namely, the tomatoes. 
she said she wanted to make like kind of a salsa. I don't think I've ever made that kind of a salsa, so I'm just gonna improvise. Gonna add a bit of garlic, still got some leftover bell pepper, and a bit of onion, basil, Italian herbs. Mm, kinda yum. Done. Last step, guys, last step. You guessed it, the Brussels sprouts. Which, if you're smarter than me, you would have already done. That could have been the first step, but I thought the other steps would take me longer, so yeah, here we are. We're gonna add some olive oil, some salt, and some pepe. Now, luckily, I have never used it in like one and a half years. <laughs> Naomi once bought an air fryer, which Lizzo also uses, but I'm sure you could just put this in the oven as well. She puts it into the air fryer at 300 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, and halfway through, she sort of does this. <laughs> Putting it in there. Okay, see y'all. Well, now I know why I didn't start that thing beforehand. We gotta do something with our queso still, and we gotta just put our meat into the pan and just let it brown a little. And you know, our, our queso, we're just gonna juice up a little in a pan with some cream cheese and some oat milk. Then again, I don't think I will do that. I know that Lizzo did it, but Lizzo's queso was also not as liquid as mine, and mine is like perfectly liquid to just pour on top. And I feel like that's the only reason she did it. So I think I might just add a little bit of cream cheese to it, but that's about it. But I will just quickly put our meat into a pan. Everything is done. I don't know, like, our meat... <laughs> Sorry, it all got a little bit hectic, but that was mainly because her TikTok was just so hectic and I feel like that energy sort of took over me. Let's put it all together. Mmm, looks crunchy. Then I think she added her better looking meat. <laughs> <laughs> the queso y la salsa. Claro que sí. Ooh, yeah. Bring it, sis. And there you have it. Lizzo's Brussels nachos. Or a version of it. I don't know. I just needed a recipe for the meat. She could have given it to me. It still looks good. I like fresh looking food. Mmm, mmm, that's really good. I actually really enjoy this. It probably tastes totally different to what she made, but there's no way of knowing. I could definitely eat this up, you guys, if I wasn't so full. Now everybody say it with me. Thank, Thank you, Lizzo. Thank you, Lizzo. Thank you. I've got another one for you guys, but I don't have it today. I'll see you tomorrow, the day after. Well, in a second, bye. Good morning, everyone. I've got my coffee right here. Well, the rest from like four hours ago. Huh. But I don't have anything to eat. Don't worry. Haley Bieber has got our back. She came up with a recipe that is so inspiring and creative that I just had to try it. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but she makes something called pancakes. It sounds very intriguing to me, so we're just gonna make her pancakes now. Here is what you need to make Haley Bieber's pancakes. Her ingredient list, she started off with a pancake mix which um excuse me i'm not from the united states we don't have that we don't yeah so i looked up how to make a pancake mix here is that 160 grams of flour 14 grams of sugar half a tablespoon of baking powder a third of a teaspoon of baking soda and a third of a teaspoon of kosher salt yeah that's the pancake mix. <laughs> then she adds two scoops of chocolate protein powder. I don't know, all the scoops I've ever encountered were different sizes, so I don't know, this is my two scoops. 178 milliliters of almond milk, one large egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a banana, maple syrup, coconut cream, some butter, and lastly, chocolate chips. First off, obviously, let's create our pancake mix. <laughs> <gasps> wow, it has been created. Protein powder, bit of vanilla extract, the egg, and the milk. My guess is that my scoops <laughs> were a little bit bigger than hers, so I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. 
almost done. She said she likes to add a lot of chocolate chips and then proceeds not to really add a lot of chocolate chips in my opinion. Oh, they're different. <laughs> and our batter is done already. We just gotta fry it in a lot of butter, she said. She does one at a time. I'm not sure I'm patient enough for that. And while the pancakes are doing their thing over there, we're just gonna whip our coconut cream now. We're done. They're done. You're done. Here is our high mountain of pancakia. Before they cool off too much, she adds another layer of butter. I feel like we can make two towers. <laughs> Next, we can add some banana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know how much I wanna add of my coconut cream because, I mean, creamy it is. It just looks like a sauce. And lastly, Haley likes a lot of maple syrup on top. And there you have it, Haley Boobleby's pancakes. The first you've ever heard of it, seen of it. Well, I hope they're good. They don't particularly look amazing, but they look rich, you know. They are very dense. I feel like this is because of my protein powder. Hmm. Mm. Haley Bumblebee likes it sweet. Mm. Yeah, Haley, maybe I'll just have to come visit you and then either we try a different recipe <laughs> or you make them the way you actually make them with your ingredients. While these pancakes are okay, I've definitely had way better ones. I really like the coconut cream though. Well, Haley Boop, Naomi likes them. I feel like it could be BFFs now. Why is it so easy with this one when I always struggle with this side? I feel very full now. Thank you, Haley. And with that, we have finished yet another celebrity roast. I actually love them. <gasps> you love them. Good for her. Lizzo definitely wins this one for me. Let me know which of these recipes you will make and let me know if you guys know any really crazy, cool, interesting celebrity recipes that you want me to try and I will. But that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye! <laughs>